Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is going to be a questionnaire forward slash review about Disney on Ice because if you don't know on Saturday I went to the first Arcturina in Leeds and I went to Disney on Ice. Um, if you want to please go and check out my vlog because I did vlog it and just enjoy the Disney fabness and greatness of Disney because I absolutely love it. I do apologise because I had to get the questions because my printers broke so I couldn't print out questions so I had to save them onto my laptop. That's why you can hear background noises of a computer in the background. But without further ado, let's get on with the video. So, the first question is, what was your favourite part? Oh, my, hmm. my favourite part was Aladdin. Just because something really funny happened, well... I got a lot of interaction during that bit and yeah but I'm not gonna go into too much detail because it's actually coming up in a question further on um, but I think what I liked about Aladdin was that they had my favourite song in that section which was Prince Ali da -da -da -da. I love it um, and they had Abu as the elephant and they had like a giant animatronic elephant on the ice and I thought that was really cool. And I liked how they introduced the genie with loads of pyrotechnics and I thought that was really cool. And I got to hear um, A Whole New World as well. So that was really nice and that's one of my favourite Disney songs. So yeah. Um... The second question is, favourite character dance? My favourite character dance routine was from either Can You Feel The Love Tonight from the Lion King section because they did loads of cool tricks and I think I managed to film a few of them tricks. It was a bit hard to try and film them though because the spotlight was shining on the camera so you couldn't properly see them half the time but it was yeah I still got as good as footage as I could um but my other favorite character dance was the mouse bounce with Mickey and Minnie to like start off the whole show um but I also loved the Toy Story one that was really fun and even though like I was sat down, I was still like boogieing and having a great time. So yeah. And I apologise for my voice, but I've currently just got a cold. So I do sound a bit iffy, but I just wanted to film this video. Right, so the next question is, did I buy anything whilst I was at the show? Yes, of course I did. It's me. You all know how mad I am about merch of any kind especially Disney. Well, I, I'm going to start with like what I wore because I'll have to like show the camera. So I ordered this top off Depop and it's got like all of the Mickey and Friends gang on it and it's even got Daisy on it and if you don't know, Daisy is my favourite character. Well, female character, let's just say. And yeah, it was really... And I got so many compliments from people at the show saying like, I looked really colourful and yeah, so I really like that. And then I had to purchase these purple potion ears from Shop Disney online because I... I'm in love with them, like the colour, I, I'm i obsessed with anything purple, so the fact that they released purple 
sequined ears was perfect for me and I thought they'd be perfect for Disney on Ice because past Disney on Ice I didn't want to wear the same ears as last time so I decided to buy myself another pair and they're so comfortable like I remember last time I got a really bad headache from my gold ones the 25th anniversary ones and these were completely fine but Whilst I was there, at the previous show I went to, you could do like photo opportunities of like the set or like cardboard cutouts of characters, but there was always a massive queue. And because I was floor seated, there was a cardboard cutout of Minnie and Mickey. And when we went to do it, me and my friend, there wasn't a queue. And this woman took loads of professional photos and you could pick one and you could pick like an envelope or a frame. I just went with the standard envelope and I just absolutely adore this photo. It's so cute and I'm in front of Minnie and yeah, it was, it was just so cute. Um, obviously, I had to buy a program. I, if you don't know me, I collect programs from like events, concerts, pantomimes, anything. I absolutely adore them. And yeah, I always aim to get a program. I'm going to show you the ticket. I'm going to cover up the price because. I was block B row A. I was actually seat 9, but I think I gave the other tickets to my friend, so. And then I picked up this little fella, Donald, because originally I asked people on Twitter because I knew I wanted to get a little plush, but I didn't know who. Like, I knew they did a mini Mickey, Donald and Goofy. And originally I'd planned to get either a Mini or a Mickey. And I think on the poll, the Mini one won. And then I said to my friend, which plush do you think is cuter? The Donald one or Mini? And she said Donald. And yeah, he's just so cute. Oh, I love him. And he goes really well with my medium Donald and Daisy that I've got as well. But... <laughs> One of the cutest things I bought, well, when you buy like candy floss or sweets at Disney on Ice, they sometimes come with stuff that you can wear. So like, they came with either a crown or an Olaf hat. And <laughs> I bought the Olaf hat and the candy floss together because I love Frozen. Olaf is one of my all time favourite Disney characters. I absolutely adore him. I just think he's hilarious. And yeah, I just love Olaf. And I remember I didn't tell my friend I was going to buy it. Came back from the toilet. Went to the stand where they sold it. Came back wearing the Olaf hat. And then her reaction was just hilarious. But. Yeah, that was all of the stuff that I bought. Favourite song? Hmm. Ooh. Favourite song. Okay, so I'm going to do top three. Hmm. In at number three is probably I See the Light from Tangle, that performance was so cute. Um, Prince Ali from Aladdin section and, oh God, this is hard. Um, there's gotta be the song from the Mouse Bounce. It's such a good song, I think it's, can you move it now, bitch, I can shake it. It was from an other Disney on Ice show that I went to. And they use the same song. So, yeah. Um, 
Do did you prefer this year's Disney on Ice to previous shows you've been to? Yes, one hundred percent preferred it. I think I preferred it to the first one because I was so much closer. Um, and I preferred it to like any of the shows I've ever been to before because like I felt like this year. Because when I went for my birthday in Manchester, I felt like all the characters were just mainly waving at, like, little kids. And I get that most people think that Disney's just for kids and not, like, adults. And I quite like the fact, because I got so much interaction from different characters and it just made the experience so much more magical. And, yeah, I just loved it. cutest part of the show okay so One of the cutest parts was the Lion King section. And possibly when Mickey and Minnie danced together, that was really cute. Um, just scroll down. Favourite memory from the show? I just think like one of the best things about Disney is whether it's like a trip to Disneyland or seeing Disney on ice, it's just pure magic and as soon as you walk into the stage, like the stage area, Disney music's playing, you see little kids dressed up as like their favourite Disney character or Disney princess. And it just makes me so happy. I'm always happy because of Disney. And then when you see like the characters right in front of you. I just think it was seeing like all of the characters, like some of my favourite characters skating right past me or like stood a few feet away from me. Yeah, I, I, I loved it. Who was your favourite character? Oh god. Hmm. My favourite character. Donald. I love Donald. And him and Goofy had some moments during the show. Absolute moments. Where, um, because Minnie and Mickey were dancing together and like spinning around each other, Goofy just picked up Donald and like spun him around, and it was just so cute. And yeah, it was just, I've, I love Donald, I love him, I just think he's so silly, 
He's very naughty. But he's just so cute. I, I love him. Absolutely love him. And the fact that he interacted with me as well. Um, <laughs> would you go again and would you recommend Disney on Ice? 100% I will be going again. Without a doubt. The It's just incredible. And I would recommend Disney on Ice to if you're a Disney fan and you've never been you need to go tickets are not expensive like if you want to sit front row it's 30 to 40 pound and the amount of interaction you get from different characters and you can see so many characters up close it's incredible it's just worth every single penny the merchandise isn't that expensive. Compared to like other shows I've been, it's not expensive. So I would 100% recommend Disney on Ice to anyone. Um, did you get any interactions? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes. And this is sort of a follow-up question. If you did, so I'm going to explain all of my interactions. So the first interaction I got was from Donald, which I will appreciate for the rest of my life because every time Donald like, skated anywhere near me, I'd be going, oh my god, Donald, Donald. And he was like, at one point he was like stood right in front of me. And I just shouted at him, I love you Donald. And I think he heard. And anyway, he like waved back at me. And I did like a little hand heart to him because I absolutely adore him. And he blew me a kiss. And oh, he's so cute. And, <laughs> and then some people told me that if you sat on the front row... Every single time the show's on, in the Aladdin section, Jeannie picks one, like, female adult out of the crowd and he, like, flirts with her and just does really silly stuff. And I was a bit like, what if he does it to me? What, what if he does? And I was thinking... Nah, he wouldn't. And then <laughs> during, I think it was during Prince Ali, he came over to where I was and like, he started doing like the really girly wave like that, like, hi. And then he did like the call me thing. And I was a bit like, and I looked behind me and there was a little kid behind me and I thought, that can't have been at the little kid because... That would have been a bit risky to do that to a child. I looked at the woman next to me. I was like, that looked like it was at me, but I don't know if it was. So I said to my friend, who was he doing that at? And she was like, he did it at you. I just remember being like, what? No, he didn't. And then he came back. A few minutes after that and full on leant over the barrier and was doing like showing off his muscles just kept on waving at me and I was just sat there like laughing going what the heck is what's going on because oh it was so funny <laughs> oh and towards the end I got a wave off Olaf and Snow White, that was cool. I'm trying to think who else. And I also got a wave of Minnie Mouse, which made me feel so good inside because Minnie is a queen. She is just incredible. And we blew each other kisses, which was so cute. And yeah. 
so out of all them interactions, probably a mix between the mini Donald and Jeannie interaction were all my favourite, like they were my top three interactions, top three, and I did manage to get the mini interaction in the vlog, which made me so happy because now I can watch it back and watch Minnie interact with me. Funniest moment during the show for Jeannie. Just the Jeannie moment. <laughs> Pulling the Jeannie. Falling in love with him. Him falling in love with me. Yeah. Found a new love in the Jeannie. Just saying. <laughs> I'll just what would you overall rate the show? So if you're talking a scale of one to ten, it would be off the scale. It was incredible. The best by far. Loved it. Um will you be going to any more Disney on Ice shows in the future? Of course I will. Yes, 100%. I'll definitely be going again. What was your first experience like when you went to your first ever Disney on Ice show? The first time I ever went to Disney on Ice show was in early March 2018 and it was completely spontaneous like last minute and we were really really high up so view wise it wasn't the best but and to be honest there wasn't a lot of characters but I enjoyed it but the shows I've been to after that have just been getting better and better and better. Like, more characters, like... There were so many more characters this year, like... Snow White even got her own section, which was insane. Um... How many times have you been to a Disney on Ice event? I've been to a Disney on Ice show. I've been to three different ones, so I did... World of Enchantments, Dream Big, and Wonderful World of Disney on Ice. Do you go with friends or family? So, the first one I went to, I went with my mum, sister, and my sister's boyfriend's mum. The second time I went with Helen, who you guys know from this channel. And I went with my friend from school. And then on Saturday I went with my friend from uni. How close were you to the stage? So the first time I was two rows from the back, the very back, so I'm very high up. <laughs> um, the second time I was front row block A so I was like close to where the characters were coming out and then on Saturday I was sat near the podiums where some of the characters stand up on and there were points where Anna, Rapunzel, Flynn, Elsa, Kristoff, Minnie, Mickey, Donald and Goofy was sat, like stood and I did manage to get some good footage and great pictures when the characters were all there. So in a way, I preferred being near the podium. Um, have you ever got photos with any of the characters who were in the show? Yes, I have. I've been in a photo with Goofy at Disneyland Paris when I went on a trip with uni and he was so cool to me he was really really nice and yeah I love Goofy absolutely love him 
But I'm going again soon, so hopefully I can meet Donald. Thank you. Um, would you make any changes to the performance? Yes, I would. I would have made Frozen, because I know that Frozen's like one of the most popular Disney films ever, but I feel like it, it got like half an hour and then Toy Story got five to ten minutes, so did Tangled. Tangled could have been a lot longer, Little Mermaid should have had longer. Aladdin, they should have done Friend Like Me. And to be honest, I wouldn't have done the Finding Dory section because I didn't really think much to that. I didn't really understand. I liked what they did with the whole section, but it wasn't the best. But I do feel like Mickey, Minnie, Donald and Goofy got the time they deserved because... In past Disney on Ice shows I've been to, I get that they're the hosts, but the first ever show I went to, it was mainly focused on Mickey and Minnie, and I know that Donald and Goofy were also there, but it was mainly focusing on like Mickey and Minnie. Second show, it was just Mickey and Minnie hosting, and then the thing I loved about this year was that Donald and Goofy got the same amount of time as Mickey and Minnie. And even when, like, Mickey and Minnie were talking, you'd have Donald playing with a fish in a frying pan. He'd have them just goofy, just being goofy and falling over all the time. And, yeah. But, that was the Q&A for Disney on Ice. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And, yeah, if you enjoyed, please do like, comment and subscribe. Check out my vlog and then comment down below what you thought of the vlog as well because I'd love to hear your opinions and yeah. But I will see you all again very soon because tour for the vamps starts this month and vlogs will be coming for the vamps. Possibly a Q&A, definitely a story time because I like doing story times. And yeah, but huge thank you for everyone for the continued support and yeah, this is Redhead Boo signing off. Bye!